think that you've managed to understand what Christians say about Listen, theirs. No, you know, you know that, you know that, you know that. Shall I tell you what we mean? Tell me what you mean. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'm going to tell you what I mean. It, 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 about them all being equal. All being equal. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. It's not true. We talk about an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, was ontological? What did you hear that from? Do you, ontological. Oh my gosh! Are you really going to use that stupid logic? Show me Tawheed in the Quran. Show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. There's one God. Show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. There's one God. Show me the word. You just objected to me using the word ontological because it's not in the Bible, but you can't. Show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. That's called a double standard, bro. People in glass houses should not throw stones. What does one God mean? So, so, no, so what you're saying, ah, so you're saying it's the concept then. If the concept is in the Quran, it's fine to use the word. No, 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 Where's this amazing Islamic logic that you were boasting of two minutes ago? You're just contradicting yourself. You know, if you get four or five different Christians which have different beliefs and You mean like the Muslims in the park? No, what I'm trying to say and the Sunni, and the Quran only Muslims. Well, I'm trying to say yeah. you're going to get difference of opinion. Exactly, but I'm because talking. We're not all scholars. Are you Sunnis? We're Muslims. Sunni or Shia? Sunni or Shia? We're Muslims. Do you do you do you follow a yes, sect? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm a Christian. Oh, do you follow any sect? All Christians are disciples. Are you missionary, evangelist? Do missionaries. You don't. You see, you're just oh. using words no, you I'm don't saying, know. No, I'm not a scholar. You're just you're using scholar. words you don't what know. You? So if you're not a scholar of Christianity, why are you trying because to criticize the Christian faith? We're not having a debate on scholars. We're just having a conversation. So, one second. Did you even did you even hear what I said? You asked a specific question. I gave a specific answer. So, so what? Because he keeps interrupting. So I have to raise my voice. If your friend, if your friend doesn't shout, I won't have to raise my voice. Okay, go on. There you go. So, let me let's just relax. It's just a conversation. So, so, let's do this again. Right? You asked a question about how is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit equal? I said that we Christians believe in an ontological equality. Do you even know what the word ontology? No, because I've never seen it. No, no, explain to No, and don't go. I've never heard that. No, 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 no,
They ask a question, and then when you try to give an answer that triggers the next part of the script, all they want to do is jump to the next part of the script rather than deal with the answer you're giving. So you asked a question. Let's go back to that question. Do you want to go back to the question you asked at the beginning? Let me ask you a question. Yes. But it should be easy. Why should it? Why should it? Yes. No, no. Are you saying that? Are you saying that logic is all? Are you saying logic is always simple? Are you saying that logic is always simple? Good, because I would have embarrassed you had you said so. There is a reason why people have to use logic. Because logic is not always simple. No, I think, bro, people who have a superiority complex and who speak down to my Christian sister saying that we Muslims use logic, you don't, can't now to a Christian about ego. You need you need to check your ego. Shall we go back to the question? Shall we go your friend? A reliable witness. So, so, so I assume that you were with these guys. You know, I apologize. My apologies. That's my assumption. My bad. So let me ask you this question. So we're gonna go back to your question. We're gonna go back to your question. Okay? Your question was about the way in which the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are equal. And I said that we Christians teach, believe, and preach an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And just to demonstrate that I was listening to you, unlike you listening to me, your objection was then, well, where was that in the Bible? Where's that word ontology in the Bible? And then I said to you, and then I said to you, then I said to you that that doesn't even make logical sense because Muslims can't find the word Taweed in the Quran, but you believe it. So the question is not whether the word ontological equality. The question is not whether the word ontology appears in the Bible, but the idea of ontology okay, appears not, in the Bible. Okay, let's not get too now, complex. So let's break it down to you. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. As I say, I'd get through this a lot quicker if you stop interrupting. But because you keep interrupting, I keep having to start again. So what you need to do is you need to ask a question, wait until an answer is finished, and then ask the next question. Not keep interrupting me, and then force me to lecture you about the manners of not interrupting to the answer of a question that you ask. Interrupting. So let's do this again. What does ontology mean? You don't know. Of course you don't know, because you've never sat with a learned Christian. Onto means being in Greek. Ology means to speak about being. So when we say we believe in an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are saying that they are made of the same thing at exactly the same time. Without division, without partners, without separation, it is that way. We teach, listen, we teach that in relation they are not equal. So that the way that the Son relates to the Father is as a Son. And the way that the Holy Spirit re re um, relates to the Father is as you say, under his authority. That's orthodox Christian teaching. So you're trying to use orthodox Christian teaching as a criticism of Christianity. It does not work. So let me, let me, let me, let me. It depends how many times you interrupt. You're asking a question, I'm going to give an answer. So, and look, he's interrupting already. He just can't control himself. And now he's interrupting. So, brother, if you ask a question, you've got to let me answer. You forget what's a conversation. We have to educate the Muslims in the pod all the time about what a conversation is. All the time. 
Let us do this. I'm going to answer. So I'm going to answer your question. We're going to answer your question. Yeah. You see, this brother's not even interested in it. At no point has this brother engaged in the conversation. This one, the with the baseball cap.